welcome back to the videos. So I just want to briefly interrupt this video. Um, I have a little bit of a collab going on with Reese over at RK Garage. He won one of my hoodies recently in uh, one of my giveaways and he has decided that he's also going to give it away along with some other merch bits and pieces. I messed with the hoodie um, a little bit because um, I like fucking with him. So if you guys want to go ahead and see what I wrote on the hoodie, um, we have a little bit of a friendly rivalry going on. He seems to think his shitbox Eco Jets gonna make more power than Ethel. But that aside, um, yeah, we have a pretty friendly rivalry going on. Um, it's all in the spirit of fun. Um, but yeah, he's gonna be giving away that hoodie. So if you want to see his reaction of what I wrote on the hoodie that I gave him that he won. Um, head over to his channel and check it out. He's left me a bit of a message um, for you guys, which I'll play now. Hey everyone, Gordon Fed Boost. Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Reese from RK Garage. This is my garage. That's Eco Jet up there, for anyone who does know me. So, Gordon Fed Boost myself, small collab. Um, as you would have, he's already talked about thing in his video earlier, but this is from me. Um, I won a jumper from him in his live stream, which I am re-giving away. He has written a note on there. I will be, uh, it's pretty funny, taking the piss out of me. I'll be writing my own note. So if you want to find out what he wrote, come across to my channel, which you need to, to enter anyway if you want to. Um, there's numerous of his stickers, key tags, a couple of my stickers, um, some of my merch up for, to win as well. I've done three different giveaways. One big one with the jumper, one of my shirts, both of our stickers, Lightning Red Dart, another one of just stickers, and then a merch giveaway that's got a few stickers and one of my shirts. So um, in case you guys want to do that to win, you can come across to my channel you need to subscribe. I need to see that you're a subscriber uh, to enter and then leave a comment on my video, not to confed boost, my video stating if you want me to do the give it the draw, the draws I should say, over a live stream or a regular video upload. And so that will be your entry, the comment essentially, and that also tells me which one people prefer, the live stream or a video anyone can just come to. Uh, so anyway, I'll give you guys back to Cornfed Boost so he can roll on with fixing his shit box, which he's going to lose, even though he tries to give me shit about mine. But anyway, uh, I hope to see you guys over on my channel. And if you are new to Cornfed Boost and you, this happens to be the video you're watching, make sure you subscribe to him because he has some awesome content. He knows his shit and he's doing Ecotex proud. So that's all from me, guys. And I'll see you guys hopefully on my channel as well. But yeah, anyway, jump over there if you want to win that hoodie or just even see his reaction for what I put on the hoodie. It was pretty good. Um, and yeah, that's enough of that from me. On with today's short and Uh, on with today's short and sort of random BMW video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the videos. It's wonderful to have you guys here again as always. Um, today in this video, I'm gonna do a tiny bit to this thing. Um, I'll give you a quick rundown of what's been going on with the BMW. Um, off camera, I sorted out a tail shaft for it. It's nothing special and it's not going to be permanent um, as it's a bit short here in the trans. It almost bottoms out. But it'll be enough to get the car to move um, out of the workshop and shit, which I'm going to need to try and do pretty quickly. I'm going to hook up a fuel filter here uh, I'll put a Commodore one in there and try and hook up 
the fuel return. So I get fuel feed and return hooked up. Um, that way it's just about getting ready to try and start it. Um, dump pipe has still got to finish. I've got to order a three inch V-band. Um, and basically finish it off. Don't have the money for that at the moment. But um, yeah, I came out here, tested up this 10 a.m. hose I had lying around. Looks like it's gonna be pretty bloody good for the turbo drain up there. I just gotta get the flange for the turbo. And then I think I have a fitting that'll screw into the turbo and then basically just tee off here from the oil pressure switch and that'll be turbo oil and feed sorted uh, but yeah not really gonna be too much of a video basically sort out that uh, might have a bit of a oh, I gotta sort them out up there too and yeah that's that's pretty much going to be the basis of this video, just putting a fuel filter on the thing. Um, I don't really have anything else to do on it yet. Uh, I've got to... i got to take this switch off the side of the transmission because it doesn't fit the VR loom plugs. And I've got to go and get myself a VT one so that the plugs will fit. So... Maybe if I get time I'll swap that out as well. Um, this video is probably going to take or happen over a couple of days today and tomorrow while I go and get things like the fuel filter to go in that spot and a little bit of hose and shit. Um, so yeah. So yeah, anyway, I'll, uh, I'll cut back tomorrow once I got fuel filter and some hose and we'll do some stuff. Alright, so I'm back. I got fuel filter. It's gonna go there. It's just a standard Commodore one and some fuel lines. So that one will go to the filter, and then this is the return. So I've got to snake it up to the end and up there somewhere. The dog stops eating the plastic things. Anyway, so I'm gonna crack on with this. Trim this to length. Make it not so floppy. <laughs> Just ASMR dog pissing. <laughs> Yeah, they need like electric tripods and then cameras that lock under your face. Yeah. So that, no matter where you walk, it follows you. That camera locks under the face, but I don't think it'll be able to use it for tracking. Use it for focus. skills to pay his grandma's bills. Hmm? I don't know, the screen's going up, I don't know what it's pointing at. I'm pretty sure it was on you the whole time. I lit the screen back up and it's pointing in your general direction. Cool. Turn 
is going to be a pain in the neck. Why did you figure out which one was which? Yeah, I just had to look at the filter and it says in on the in one. Which I reckon will be that one. The factory brackets around here somewhere. Yeah, it's over there, but it's like in the wrong spot. No. That's right. Nothing that a couple of zip ties can't fix. through and sparks and it catches fire and jobs are good that's how you know it's done right you reckon we're going to have an engine bay fire in this one down at the timer and it clicked over to 420. <laughs> 420. Oh, yeah, the fuck am I gonna get that turn up there? registration on the screen is next level. <laughs> yes. You touch it and then eight years later it decides to turn on. Just like, wait a minute, someone touched me. Dude, the 20 year old, the 21 year old touch screen in the crown does a better job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good it is having that video playback work now. Is it? One broken wire in the boot. And now I can have a PlayStation on the stock screen. Or whatever else I want to put in the car. Mm. I could even um, have an aftermarket head deck and use one of the outputs into the input of the factory screen and then both screens display the same thing. Oh, All from a 21 year old car. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the Japanese are ahead of the time. They know their shit. Yeah, That's from when I was pulling it apart. They're still sitting there. Yes. Because I thoroughly clean this place regularly. Hashtag sarcasm. Yeah. I've seen that tool you can buy that pulls them and cuts them. Yeah, flush goes. They are quite nice looking. I reckon if I go up here in this heat shield and then snake up with them, maybe that'll be enough.
Let Nismo in your car. What are you doing? Then you can go, look, it's a doggo and a comma. took our time and cut and shoot it probably would have been a bit longer. That was my half assed attempt at a shit jam. <laughs> Damn the dark. That iPhone quality light. <laughs> over here I reckon. It's one of those. Hmm, that's about all I can do with this shit off today. That in or out? That is in. Ah. But it doesn't fit though. 
Sits at the top of that and then sits in that groove at the top. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm thinking. I have a smaller rink in here. And then it builds oil pressure to leak it out. That's right. It's metal shavings, one on one. <laughs> that's what you want on your own rings, isn't it? Metal shavings? Not an oil feed. Where's your sense of adventure? Not where the oil shavings are. Hmm. Interesting. Can I break off in there though? It's so perfect, it's scary. special just the fitting in there and then plumbed up the fuel lines not that you can see it um, that is an o-ring boss fitting so that's probably going to leak and I'll probably have to change it but that's not hard to do at least I can now run a line and get the line length sorted get the uh, flange to the bottom with the gasket and get the return on it and then a few more bits and pieces and I can try and kick it in the guts and see if it will actually fire that is, of course, assuming that my ECU and VRAM board is not dead. There is a possibility of that. As, it's it's for a hot as it has been sitting around for a little while. Um, but yeah, the turn just goes on there to the, the factory reg. And then runs down to the line just under the car where it returns back to the tank. And then the feed goes through that standardish filter. And then here into the rail again you can't see it um yeah at least that's a bit of progress um some stuff's happening i gotta get back and finish filming this other video that i'm in the middle of um so hopefully you guys will get to see that in a couple of weeks but yeah for now uh that's gonna be it for me thank you all for watching please leave a like and a comment down below don't forget to head over to Reese's channel to try and win that hoodie if you guys should want it and just watch his video of me or of him unboxing it and uh, as always don't forget unleash the boost CO2 to the world and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. So, I'm just here editing this video. Uh, Reese tells me there's a bit of a private message in this video that he's got prepared for me. So I figured I might film while I watch it and I guess just see what happens. Maybe there's something interesting or funny hidden in it or maybe there's nothing. So. If you guys see this, then there's probably something pretty cool in there. Anyway, I'm gonna watch this video. Hey everyone, Colin Fed Boost. 
Uh, if you don't know me, I'm Reese from RK Garage. This is my garage. That's Eco Jet. He is written a note on there. I will be, uh, it's pretty funny, taking the piss out of me. How good is that shirt though? So anyway, I'll give you guys back to Corn Fed Boo so he can roll on with fixing his shit box which is going to lose. <laughs> Even though he tries to give me shit about mine. But anyway, uh, I hope to see you guys over on my channel and if you are new to Corn Fed Boost and you, this happens to be the video you're watching, make sure you subscribe to him because he has some awesome content. He knows his shit and he's doing Ecotex proud. So that's all from me, guys, and I'll see you guys hopefully on my channel as well.